Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through the hypothalamus and pituitary. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash hormone axis physiology or in the endocrinology section of the second edition of the Zero to Finals Medicine book. And you can find flashcards and questions to train your knowledge and help you remember the information for longer at members.zerotofinals.com. So let's jump straight in. Hormones are messenger chemicals that travel in the blood between the organs and the tissues, regulating many processes. Too much or too little of a hormone can have significant consequences, so it's important to keep them tightly regulated. A hormone axis controls the amount of a hormone in the system. Most hormones in the body are controlled by two structures in the middle part of the brain called the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus sits above the pituitary gland and releases hormones that stimulate the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland releases hormones in response. This way the hypothalamus controls the pituitary. Let's talk about the hormones of the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus releases thyrotropin releasing hormone or TRH which stimulates thyroid stimulating hormone secretion by the pituitary. Corticotropin releasing hormone or CRH which stimulates adrenocorticotropic hormone secretion by the pituitary. Gonadotropin releasing hormone or GNRH which stimulates luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone secretion by the pituitary. Growth hormone releasing hormone or GHRH which stimulates growth hormone secretion by the pituitary. Somatostatin which is also called growth hormone inhibiting hormone or GHIH which inhibits growth hormone release by the pituitary gland and dopamine which is also called prolactin inhibiting hormone or PIH which inhibits prolactin release by the pituitary. Next let's go through the hormones of the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland has an anterior and a posterior part which release different hormones. The anterior pituitary gland releases thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH which stimulates thyroid hormone secretion by the thyroid gland. Adrenocorticotropic hormone or ACTH which stimulates cortisol secretion by the adrenal glands. Follicle stimulating hormone or FSH and luteinizing hormone or LH which controls sex hormone secretion by the gonads which are the testicles in males and the ovaries in females. Growth hormone or GH. Prolactin which stimulates breast milk production. And melanocyte stimulating hormone or MSH which stimulates melanocytes to produce melanin which increases the skin pigmentation. The posterior pituitary releases oxytocin which is actually produced by the hypothalamus but secreted by the posterior pituitary. Oxytocin stimulates uterine contractions during childbirth and milk ejection during breastfeeding and also plays a role in social bonding and pleasure and antidiuretic hormone or ADH which is again produced in the hypothalamus but secreted by the posterior pituitary. Antidiuretic hormone stimulates water reabsorption from the urine in the collecting ducts of the kidneys making it responsible for concentrating the urine. 
Research has consistently shown that testing yourself after learning a topic has a powerful effect on how long you retain that information. This is known as the testing effect. Studying and then testing yourself results in longer lasting and stronger recall on that information when tested at a later date, even when compared with additional study sessions. If you're preparing for a medical exam and you're not regularly testing your knowledge and practicing your recall, you're failing to maximize your potential. The Zero to Finals member site contains flashcards, short answer questions, multiple choice questions, and extended matching questions that are purpose built to supplement the Zero to Finals content, helping you build your internal database of knowledge and take advantage of the powerful testing effect. If you like the Zero to Finals notes, books, videos and podcasts, then you'll love the members' site.